Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining my channel, RP Guru Tech Talk. This is Renu Prasad. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe uh, to watch uh, more fun videos and also um, get updated when new videos are uploaded in my channel. Thank you so much. I have an old uh, TP-Link Wi-Fi extender, which I bought in 2019. I want to see if there's an updated firmware. So the way to do it is go to this web page. I'll add that link to the uh, description, uh, say home, and then uh, look for uh, network expansion and range extender. And then uh, you need to find the model number. The model number will be on your uh, Wi-Fi extender on the back side. Uh, it'll have a QR code and also have the model number. Um, so based on that, I'm entering the model number here. As you enter it, it'll, uh, at the bottom it says, uh, it'll try tell you if, it, if it's finding the model number. So you need to be very clear on the model number uh, based on what do you have? So if you see now I entered model number and then the way to find it is if you go to the back side of your uh, Wi-Fi extender, it will have the model number on it. So now I've um, one based on that, I've found it. And so I go back and enter the model number here and then I found it there. There it is. So click on that and then um, look for the version uh, which you have, which is V5 is what I have on the back of the model. And then um, go to the firmware tab and then go down and check which is the version uh, you might have and what you need. So we, based on that, you can download the uh, latest version. So once I download, I've already downloaded now. Uh, I'm going to um, look for the next step is to install it. So uh, I go to, so I log into my uh, TP-Link extender and then click on uh, system tools and firmware upgrade. I've downloaded the file. So uh, look for the file which I downloaded. So I go to my download folder and there it is. I'm going to select that and then hit upgrade. Uh, say uh, upgrade and say yes. So now, now it started installing. So as you install, as you see, uh, you need to log into your uh, TP link extender by uh, using the URL tplinkrepeater.net. Um, so uh, currently I have a default uh, login I've used. So I will put the URL for this uh, tplinkrepeater.net uh, on the uh, description. So it, it takes uh, a few minutes. So you need to be patient uh, and please don't unplug uh, the either the uh, extender from the power outlet because it could corrupt the uh, firmware uh, which is being installed right now. Uh, so have some patience, wait for that uh, install to complete. Once the install is complete, uh, so it's, uh, we are all set, uh, you can see the latest version has been installed and uh, we are good to go. So um, I hope you like the video. Talk to you soon.